Yeah, hello. Um, how are you all doing? I hope by the special grace of God we are all doing well. Um, be, I'm on your way again um, with another version of Dreams and Interpretations, and I really want to thank everybody who is a follower of my page. And I have actually gotten numerous messages, you know, um, some of you sharing testimonies with me that um, the dreams you used to have, you didn't know what to do about it, but since you started having them, you've started, you know, doing something about it and you are getting positive results. As I said, good dreams are supposed to be prayed about and be protected through prayer. And the bad dreams are supposed to be destroyed and, and dismantle the works of the enemy concerning that bad dream. And thank God we are all alive. I'm on your way again. Today, I'm going to look at two kinds of dreams we have in the, um, I told you I'll be grouping them in categories. So, two categories. We have setback dreams and we have stagnation dreams. Now, what is setback dreams? Setback dreams are dreams that when you have, if you don't take care, wherever you are in life, you will go back again. And your situation might be even worse than before. Stagnation dreams are also dreams that when you have, is a sign of God telling you that where you are, you're not going to go back, but you will be there for a very long time. Okay, so let me give an example. Let's say I'm um, set back dreams. Let's say maybe you've been looking for a job for some time. And by the grace of God, you just apply and you get a job. Now, if you start having setback dreams, it is very possible you might lose the job and come back home again. Then you'll be looking for another job. So you get a job, you come back home. All right. Now, the stagnation is whereby you will, um, let's say, you, you, you maybe um, you, you are at a, a certain level. You know in life and you really want to move on let's say you you want um, a contract you've been writing you know um, to big big companies to give you a contract if you don't take it you will keep on writing to the companies for over 10 years and nothing will come out from it nothing positive will come out from it so these are the examples I have given but in these two dreams we have a symbolic dream and we have the raw one so we're gonna look at setback dreams what are some of the dreams that shows that a setback spirit is following somebody? Now, number one, if you dream and you normally see your former workplace where you used to work, if you don't pray about it very well, at the end of the day, you will realize that the little breakthrough that you have gotten that you are enjoying now, you might lose it and go back. So, number one is what? Dreaming and seeing your former workplace. You see your former boss. Let's say if you you, you had a challenge with a former boss. Currently, you are not working there anymore. But you see that you always dream seeing your former workplace and your former boss or even your former colleagues as well. That is setback dream. Number two, if you dream of seeing your old house where you grew up, Let's say you are in area A now, but you used to live in area B, all right? Now, you don't dream of area A, but you keep on dreaming of area B. When, and sometimes you, you can see as far as even your childhood, you know, you, 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 your childhood friends, you, you see them in the neighborhood and you start, you know, um, playing or talking or you see that old area you grew up, all right? That is also another sign. Of setback okay number three if you dream and you also see yourself back in school all right for those of um, the people I mean um, outside Ghana um, let me just explain in my country Ghana here we have primary school from primary or let's say we have nursery from nursery go to primary school from primary you go to jhs that's junior high school after junior high school you go to senior high school after senior high school then you either go to the polytechnic or maybe the university all right now let's say you have completed nursery primary 
JHS and SHS. Let's say even now you are in the university or it might have been that you've even completed the university now and you still dream and you see yourself back in JHS, back in SHS, back in uh, um, primary or nursery school. And you see yourself sitting in the classroom wearing school uniform or sometimes you, you might see yourself very grown but still in the classroom in your former school listen anything formal you see former you see is set back in life if you don't take care if you're in a relationship you might lose it a new relationship you might lose it a new job you might lose it a new contract you might lose it anything good you are enjoying now before you have that dream if you don't take care so immediately that dream comes know that hey the devil is at work why have i started dreaming of my former school then whatever i have now i need to pray and protect it because if you don't take care so setback is not that setback wouldn't allow you to go forward it will allow you to go forward but wherever you are whichever level you are if you don't pray well when you have this dream you will go back so you will end up begging from friends and all that may the lord save you from setback in jesus mighty name now let's quickly move to i've given some examples of these dreams okay setback let, let me give um, another example of if you normally see your ex-wife ex-husband ex-boyfriend now if you don't take care i'm telling you a secret this is spiritual it's only those who are spiritual will understand me. Everything I'm teaching here, I get it straight from above. So listen to me well. Let's say you are in a new relationship now. And you see that you keep on dreaming about your former guy, your former girlfriend. Okay? The moment you start seeing that person in your dream, it is telling you that the current one you are in now, it is possible it might also break up. So you have to sit up well and pray. That is a sign of setback. All right? That is a sign of setback. So I have given the setback dreams, the examples of it, and I'm expecting you to follow it. I gave some quotations the last time in the Bible that use that quotations to be praying. Now, stagnation. Let me give an example of the dreams. Sometimes if you miss your flight in a dream, that's stagnation. If you miss, let's say, a bus, let's say, you are at the um, lorry station, you're waiting for, let's say, a bus or something, and or a train or any means of transport, and at the end of the day, you see yourself that the bus has gone and it left you behind. That is stagnation. It's symbolic. It's stagnation in life. If you don't take it wherever you are now, let's say you were doing um, a work that um, you, you, your salary is like 500 Ghana CDs, or let's say, let, let me put it in dollars so that the international people will understand. Let's say you get something like, um, let's say, $200 maybe a month. If you don't take care of that work, you will be there for a long time. Whilst a lot of people will be getting $10,000 in their workplace, you will still be receiving the $200 because there is no new opportunity coming in your way. That is stagnation. So if you dream and any means of transport has left you behind, you've missed your flight, you've missed your bus, you've missed your train, that is a, another form of stagnation dream. Okay. Now, in a situation whereby you also have a dream, another example of stagnation dream, you have a dream. Most people do have this dream. You see that you have parked your car somewhere in the dream. Let's say you're going to the mall in the dream. You go to whichever place you're going, you come back and the car isn't there. It's missing. Stagnation dream. Now, another example. You, you, you have a dream. You saw yourself writing on exams. And you see, I've done a video on this whole exams thing. So you, you can go, go, go back on my page and go watch it out. So you, you, you see that you're writing on exams. Physically, it's so easy, but in the dream, it's so difficult for you. You wouldn't be able to write to the examiner say, stop work. That is also a sign of stagnation. Okay, you also have a dream and you see yourself walking in a muddy place. It has rained, the place is so muddy, it's hard to even, you know, put a little step ahead and all that is so hard for you. That is stagnation. So all what I need you to do 
is to pray so well against it. When you have a good dream, pray and protect it. When you have a bad dream, pray and destroy the works of the enemy concerning your life. Don't take your dream for a joke. Don't take your dream for a joke. I want you to pray seriously about your dream because dreams are one of the basic ways God speaks to us. But it, most dreams are in symbols. It takes people who have the grace like us to be able to expatiate the symbols to you. God richly bless you for joining me as you listen or as you watch this video. May the Lord God Almighty save you from stagnation and save you also from setback. In Jesus' name, amen.